speaking on the significance of the date and resurrection of Jesus Christ to mankind, the clergy urge Nigerians to imbibe his character of humility, discipline, perseverance, sacrifice, and obedience, which he demonstrated during his lifetime on earth. Easter is the embodiment of everything Christianity, from the prophecy about the birth of Jesus Christ to his birth, his earthly ministry, his arrest, his crucifixion, his death, his resurrection and subsequent ascension into the heaven gives humanity victory over the power of sin. And that is what makes Easter so important in the life of believers. The significance of Easter is that Jesus Christ came into the world in order to save the world because of the situation of mankind. When God created Adam and placed him in the Garden of Eden, he went against the law of God that he should not eat of the tree that was in the center of the uh, garden. And as a result of that, he became a disobedient child of God. And because of that, he was cursed by God. And with this, God decided to take away this curse of man. They called on Christians to remain faithful and hopeful, saying, with intensified prayers, the nation will pull through the security as well as socioeconomic challenges bedeviling the nation. Added to that, as citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we are confronted with the issue of insecurity. And with the lesson of Easter, my encouragement and appeal to fellow citizens is the fact that we need not lose hope. We need to keep hope alive that this virus will go away, insecurity will go away. All we need is to be patient, to persevere, and keep praying unto God to bring us redemption. Yeah, the call to Nigeria is that we should love each other. Being Christian, being Muslim, being uh, pagan, being whatever. We are all one, children of God, created by God, loved by God. Therefore, we should love each other and demonstrate Christ's love towards, uh, towards each other. Other Nigerians underscore the imperatives of giving thanks and praises amidst challenges in order to surmount difficult situations, mostly in the post-COVID-19 period. So far, it has not been easy. We all know what happened from last year to this year, especially in Nigeria. Everybody that is alive has a reason to thank God for what has happened. We have passed through turbulence of life, COVID and other accessories attached to it. But for us to be alive, there is a reason for us to thank God. So today is a day we are marked by the church to acknowledge the goodness of God to man. God has been faithful, God has done so much for us as Christians in this church. In commemoration of the date and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Christians are expected to have sober reflection and stay far from actions that cannot betray Christ the second time. Phoebe Kure, Liberty News.